The Apprentice is back soon and once again Lord Sugar has inexplicably tasked me, Matt Edmondson, with tracking down Britain's best business minds. So I've got hold of their audition tapes and it's time to meet the candidates. Now Mark, finish this sentence. I want to work for Lord Sugar because he's... Overconfident, a bit cocksure of himself um, and I don't know. Always gets his own way. Oh my God, tell me about it. Yesterday in the canteen, he barred right- I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, we were joking. Me too, Lord, if you're watching. So, tell me, Mark, do you have any party tricks? No, I don't have a party trick, I'm afraid. You mean to say you can't do this? Yeah! Um. Or this? Is that the one you were thinking of? Uh. Or this? Whoo! Yeah! Come on, there must be something you can do. Tap, dance, handstand, name a really long country. Democrat Republic of Congo. We got there in the end, didn't we? Now, can you help me out here? I've got quite a tight hammy. <laughs> Sahail, anything I need to know about you? Don't bite me, because if you come for me and you even, like, pinch at me a tiny, tiny bit, I will bite back. That's just the way that I am as a person. I wasn't planning on biting you. Anyway, how would you describe yourself? I'd describe myself as being a shark in a sea. A shark in a sea, hence the shiny grey suit and all the biting chat. Got it. In the sea, you've got loads and loads of little animals out there. I'm not an expert, but I think they're called fish. I'm that shark. I'm not going to be the one who's going to be coming out for other people and making moves. What kind of moves? Well, I've never seen a shark do that, mainly because they haven't got legs. Thank God these didn't rip. I hear you. The last thing we want is your fin popping out. Now, as you know, Lord Sugar runs many internationally successful ventures. Shannon, do you think there's any reason that your business couldn't go global? I'm a right Yorkshire girl who don't really like going on planes and going abroad. <laughs> so you just mainly want to trade in the Yorkshire area? Why would you not? Like, it's the best place in the world. It is lovely. I just don't think it has its own stock market. Uh, on your CV, how would you describe yourself? Oh, I am a, a perfectionist and I am a, oh gosh, how do I explain that? Explain what? A grafter, a team player, a natural born leader? I'm also a trainer. A trainer? What do you mean? Now that's impressive. I am very competitive. And very versatile. <laughs> Kevin, tell me about yourself. I'm quite easy to get along with. Have you seen The Apprentice before? We're looking for the exact opposite of that. What competitive experience do you have? Once came last in a hot dog eating competition. Ah, I knew I recognised you from somewhere. How many did you eat again? Two. Two? We had 45 minutes. How did that happen? My timekeeping is dreadful. Well, this is how it's done. <laughs> Shazia, tell me about yourself. Because I'm so friendly, everybody thinks that I'm um, their best friend. Oh, in that case, is there anything that you could do to give me the permanent it? I've got a dog voice, so my little chihuahua. Sounds like it'll do the trick. Hit me. Hi, it's so exciting being here in this room with these bright lights, you know, but I just want to go home and eat my roasty roasty chicken from Waitrose. Well, that has worked. You lost me at roasty roasty chicken. Marnie, on a scale of 1 to 10, where would you rate your business acumen? I would put myself at a 12. Okay, it only goes up to 10, which, as you know, is pretty great. <laughs> What's your goal, Reese? I want to be internationally recognised. Sounds doable. Do you have any talents that could take you global? Um, I can do a couple of accents for you. If one of them is Scottish, I'm not going to be impressed. What about uh, Welsh? Welsh, okay. First of all, whose coat is that jacket? Second of all, would you like an omelette? First of all, it's mine. Second of all, I've already got one. What about Irish? A little bubble at the front of me moat. My God, you are a talent. Can you speak horse? <laughs> Amazing. Sugar cube? <laughs> Rochelle, Lord Sugar is looking for a serious business partner. What is your business motto? I feel that my motto would be that I'm the Kim Kardashian of the business world because I'm doing it with class, but I got a big ass. <laughs> I appreciate the rhyme. Here was me thinking that the Kim Kardashian of the business world was, well, Kim Kardashian. So if you're Kim K, who am I? You are you and that is your power. Do you know what? This is the empowering chat I needed. You can be business and brains and beauty and, and just be all three together and own it. You're right, the three Bs. Business, brains, and beauty. I actually got that tattooed on my back. Make that four Bs. Business, brains, beauty, back tattoo. Oh, you want this? You want this contract signed? Not really, no. Take two, take two. Don't take two. I don't need it signed. Put me inside for you. Does not need signing, just... Oh, you've got a contract here to write it. No worries. Let me write that for you. You're impressing no one, mate. 
So Danny, when it comes to business, why would you be the best thing since sliced bread? I can't stand people who sit here and say they're the best thing since sliced bread. I didn't say I was, I asked why you'd be. I don't even want to be sliced bread. It's a hypothetical. It doesn't stay fresh for long, it always ends up in the toaster. I strongly disagree. I mean, look at my sandwich, it's beautiful. Anyway, what's the worst thing about working with you? It's trying to keep me in one place at one time. I'm 100 miles an hour. Well, you're doing very well so far. Only a couple of questions left. Uh, would you say you're more of a team she wasn't lying. Avi, in the shortest sentence possible, tell me a bit about yourself. I cannot live my life being average. Bit long, try again. Avi is not average. Still too long. Av is not av. Nailed it. Now, it says here you've got amazing bars. Does that mean you're in the catering and hospitality business? We only humans, girl, we make mistakes. To make it up, I do whatever it takes. Yeah, I was worried this might happen. Remind me again of your motto. I cannot live my life being average. Well, I guess with your rapping, below average technically isn't average. So Simba, what can you offer Lord Sugar? I think as a business partner, you need a lot of different skills. Is maths one of those skills? I would rate myself a thousand out of 10. Gonna write down no. Uh, are you good at using the correct words in sentences? I just exuberate opportunities and prosperity. I am gonna write down no again. Uh, finally, do you have the emotional range needed to handle a broad array of complex business relationships? So one day I might need my friendly face on, smile, and one day I might need my angry face on. I am going to have to write no down again, aren't I? <laughs> Emma, Lord Sugar is looking for a business partner who is genuine. On a scale of 1 to 10, how genuinely are you genuine? I genuinely gave myself a 10. Sounds genuinely genuine. Anything else you're genuine about? I genuinely will be able to turn over 1.4 million in my first 12 months of business and, I, and I'm confident on that. Well, you said genuinely, so it must be genuine. Anything else to genuinely, genuinely tell me? I genuinely do believe believe in law of attraction. I think like if you want something enough, you, you can get it. I genuinely like to get some grasp of the meaning of the word genuinely back. Genuinely. Let me guess, you want Lord Sugar's millions, what are you going to spend it on? As towards the first million, if it was in my own pockets, well, I'd probably use it to increase my uniform collection substantially. <laughs> I hear you, brother. I'm currently setting up for Bavarian Milkmaid. Anyway, it says on this form that you're good with numbers, is that right? One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Good, but you forgot the number four. Speaking of which, do you have any light-hearted childhood memories you can share? When I was 10 years old, I, I asked, my father took me around lots of antiques fairs and he, he offered me the opportunity of either getting a PlayStation or getting a gun. So you went for the PlayStation. So I got a gun. Well, at least it hasn't had a negative impact on your outlook. Life is a waste of time. I take that back. So, we'll start simple. Just your name, age and occupation, please. My name's Denisha Shelley Corbage. Um, I'm 30. Oh my god, I'm not 30. I'm 29 years old. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, isn't it? So my business idea is all about lashes. Now you're talking my language. Tell me more. My ambitions for my business product would be um, being one of the best UK, one of the leading UK products, one of the UK, oh, one of the leading market, one of the, one of the leading products in the market. Next! Victoria, if you could ask Lord Sugar one question, what would it be? You know flies have a lifespan of like, four days. I can't say I did, but go on. Where do all the dead flies go? Sorry, just to check, this is the question you want to ask one of the best business minds in Britain. There are so many flies in the world. I know this is like so random, but where do they go? Like you don't see dead flies on the floor. All right, it's me. I'm the dead fly guy. That is what I do the rest of the year. The other 364 days while I'm not being wheeled out for this nonsense. All them dead flies. Like, where are they? They're right here. I can put them in a little bag for you if you want. I am quite, like, switched on, you know. Not all blonde hair and bags and stuff. Well, you are now, because I'm giving you one full of dead flies. <laughs> Bradley, tell me about yourself. I'm, I'm a northern lad. Northern lad. Got it. Anything else? I'm, I'm a young northern lad. Yep, yep, young northern lad. Got that. Uh, anything else? I'm the Del Boy at Teesside. Oh, in that case, you'll probably need these. Just don't call Karen a sweetheart. She's got a surprisingly strong left hook. <laughs> you know what, Megan? I'm a bit sick of interviewing all of you guys. When I, I know for a fact I could probably do a better job at this than almost everyone I've met today. You can have a really, really good idea. I do. I do have a good idea. It's a Christmas bauble with Michael Bublé's face on it called the 
Michael Borblay. But the one thing that really, really matters is the execution. Well, I've nailed that too. And that's why I'm confident in this idea. Thank you, validation at last. I'm gonna put myself through. Because yes, it's a great idea. Well, if you like that, wait until you hear about my Michael on McIntyres. So there you go, another compelling compilation of candidates, all of whom you can see in the new series of The Apprentice on BBC One and iPlayer on the 5th of January.